Kieran McKechnie in Brisbane. New South Wales may be in the midst of a building boom, but it's also struggling with a big shortage of tradesmen and women. Apprenticeship enrolments are down, and the statistics show just over half of them won't make it beyond their first year. One construction manager has decided to train and fund a new workforce, and he's helping young people to get off welfare at the same time. From Sydney, Claire Aird reports. My name's Edward Lewis Leifey. I'm age 20. Every day I wake up at four o'clock just to get early to work. And it's hella cold. I enjoy going to work. I'm always being occupied. I'm not doing nothing. It's dawn in Mount Druitt and Lewis Alofi is on his way to what could be a life-changing opportunity. I don't want to be looked upon as that person, you know, a person that's living in poverty and is going through the struggle. I'm more than that. My name's Brian Dean. I'm 27 years of age. Every morning at 5 o'clock my alarm goes off and I get up, get ready to go to work. What I like about my job is that we get to do carpentry, steel work and concreting. It's all different stuff every day and I'm learning a lot from being there. Across town, Brian Dean is hoping for a similar transformation. And meeting new friends and all that and getting along and joking around with them and that instead of having drug dealers as friends, which is they're not really your friends at all. You're just a customer to them. The two men are working in a very innovative classroom, a specially designed construction site in Sydney's west. Until recently, many of these trainees had never swung a hammer. But over the course of eight weeks, they're learning enough skills to make them job ready for big infrastructure projects. It's your decisions, not your conditions, that determines our destiny in life, lads. Frustrated with a skill shortage in the sector, Paul Breen is building a new workforce and all of his recruits are currently employed. This is your chance, lads, to tell Australia that uh, you are not lazy, that, you are, that, that, that all you want is to be given a chance. The construction manager is passionate about developing people and after selling his labour hire company, funds the project himself. We're creating a whole new training style that it's going to tap into this young generation. It's going to engage them more. And, and uh, you know, governments are going to gain because we're going to get less people on Central Lincoln. Businesses are going to gain because they're, going to, they're actually going to get uh, um, uh, employees. That's, that's actually going to hit the ground running. In the Mount Druitt area, youth unemployment has doubled in the past five years. In some parts of Sydney, one in five school leavers don't have a job. I haven't had a role model or guidance in life so you figure stuff out on your own and go ahead and do it and that sometimes it may not be right but that's how you learn. While Brian has battled drugs, Lewis was bullied at school, suspended and sent to a youth centre. Did my year 12 there for four years, try to do, do whatever I could you know to get my year 12 you know I didn't care that's all I wanted. I was attended every day and I'd really struggled with learning just because of my problems with anxiety and depression was in the way. He spent the last year struggling to find work. Because it's really hard and I can understand people out there who are going through it right now. Like many other industries, construction is crying out for workers. An extra 300,000 will be needed over the next decade. Under current training we have about 40,000. So there is a, there is a, a major shortfall. To study a trade, young people have to first secure a job, and industry reports suggest many fail the first test. The main issue here is um, arriving at the interview on time and on the right date. It's as basic as that. I must say that um, our experience over the last number of years has been quite dramatic, um, and I don't want to alienate any particular generation, but the building industry has a job ahead of it making it attractive for people to work. It's just after lunch break and the men are racing each other to improve their speed and precision. 40 seconds left. Go for it. Come on. 
you can see the transition within four weeks. It's amazing to, to, to see it. Like, like they're just completely new men. We treat it like adults. It's really mature. There's no yelling. It's more of a the, the correct communication for the men. I've seen a big change. I've seen that um, I'm very positive. I'm very motivated. I'm really occupied, and I don't think negative no more. While the trainees spend most time on the tools, they're also building life skills. You have to have the will and the want to do something in life and that now, and a motive. So, so my motive is to get my licence and to get out of home, move away from my brother and get my own place and that, start my own life. <laughs> Brian Dean. After eight weeks, the trainees are awarded a certificate marking their achievement. Today is my graduation. It's the first thing I'm actually going to graduate in. And that, so I'm very proud of myself for doing that. Edward Lewis. I have had graduations before, but for this one is something special because, because I earned it. I know where my journey is going, you know. It's, it's, and all I know is I've got, a bright, I've got a bright future ahead. On completion, the men are offered paid employment with Paul Breen, where they'll have a chance to turn their training into a career. We have them in the frame of mind here that themselves are trying to be the role models for every other young person that's out there that's going to come behind them in this course. Each and every one of them here now does not want to go back and sit on Claire aired in Sydney.